In this video, we will discuss about spinal cord AVM and its angiographic anatomy. A given ear female presented with sudden onset of severe mid back pain associated with paraparesis. MRI thoracic spine showed spinal cord AVM involving lower thoracic cord at T10 level. MR spinal angiography confirmed the presence of a spinal cord AVM. This is 3D fused MR myelography and angiography image showing the intradural location of the AVM. Initial autogram showed AVM nidus feeding from artery of Adamquix which is arising from left T9 intercostal artery. Selective left T9 intercostal injection showed high flow AVM nidus feeding from hypertrophic artery of Adamquix and the AVM nidus is draining via dilated tortuous anterior median spinal vein. Here we could see sulcocomitial branches of entrospinal artery supplying the AVM. Artery of Adamquix is supplying normal cord parenchyma distal to the AVM. We must preserve this artery if we plan for any treatment. One could also see a small aneurysm at the draining vein which could increase the risk of bleeding in the future. Left T9 intercostal injection also showed origin of left posterior spinal artery arising as a common trunk from artery of Adamquix. Left posterior spinal artery however is not supplying the AVM. Right T9 intercostal injection showed origin of right posterior spinal artery which is also supplying the AVM. In the same image, we could also see the faint visualization of artery of Adamquix supplying the AVM. On the left side of the screen, we could see the artistic impression of the angiographic finding. This is microangiographic specimen of lower thoracic cord displaying the vascular territory of interspinal artery and posterior spinal artery. Approximately anterior two-third of the spinal cord cross-section is supplied by anterior spinal artery and posterior one-third is supplied by posterior spinal artery. In this particular case, the AVM has involved the ventral portion of the cord more on the right side with the sparing of left dorsolateral aspect. Therefore, in this case, the AVM is predominantly supplied by anterior spinal artery and is also supplied by right posterior spinal artery as the left dorsolateral aspect of the cord is spared and is uninvolved by the AVM, the left posterior spinal artery is not supplying the AVM. In summary, this is a case of a spinal cord AVM involving the ventral aspect of the lower thoracic cord at T10 vertebral level supplied by anterior spinal artery arising from artery of Adamquix at T9 vertebral level on the left side and is also supplied by right posterior spinal artery at right T9 intercostal level.